Hello and welcome to Webdom Windows YouTube channel and you're watching the sixth video of the programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we're gonna see about what is an object. An object can be related to a real world object and object oriented programming concepts. So when it comes to object oriented programming languages like C++, C Sharp or Java, the object that you create is pretty much related to the real world object that you can see. So it can be a car, a bicycle, a dog, a house, laptop, smartphones, PCs, or anything that you can say as a real world object. An object in Java is an instance of a class. So if you take up an object oriented programming language, an object that you're creating is an instance of the class. So anything that is available in the class will be created for the object that you create for that class. So object have states. So states in the sense it can be a color, it can be the name, it can be something that is related to an object that you create. So if it is a car that you're taking as an object, it can be the color of the car, it can be the make of the car, it can be the model of the car, it can be the number of the car as well. So objects also have behaviors. So behavior in the sense if you take up a car as an object, it can be the starting of the car, breaking of the car, stopping of the car, an engine of all those stuff will be considered as a behavior. So the states relates to the variables of the class and behavior relates to the methods of the class that you're going to create. So how to create an object for a class? So I have taken up the same fan as an object which I've used in the last video for the classes. So how to create an object for the fan class? So the code for the fan object will look something like this. So fan, the class name that I've created, space, the fan object, which is the object name that I've given, is equal to new space fan. So I'm going to create a new fan object and store it in the fan object variable, which is the type fan. So this is how you create a fan object, the object of the fan class. And you can have multiple instances of a class. So I can create multiple objects for a class. So I'm going to create another object for the fan class. So the code will look like something like this. So fan space fan object 2, which is the second object of the fan that I'm creating, is equal to new space fan. So I have two objects and they are not going to conflict with each other. So I'm going to have different variables, different methods for them. So how to actually access the variables of a class through the object? So you can access the variables to the created object. So the code for that will look like this. Fan object dot color will access the color variable of the class through the object that I've created. You can store them to a local variable and the code for that will be looking like this. String space fan color is equal to fan object dot color. So I'm going to create a string variable fan color and I'm going to store the value of the object color to the fan color variable. How to access the methods of the class object that we create? You can access the methods through the created object again, just like the variables that you have created in the last slide. It will look like this. So fan object dot get blades. And you can see the difference that the variables doesn't have the braces, but the methods will have the opening and closing braces in this. And you can store the output of the methods into a local variable and the code for that will look like this. Integer fan blades is equal to fan object dot get blades. So the blades is an integer. If you have seen in the last video, I created an integer variable named as blades in my class and I've given the value three for that. So I'm going to get fan blades is equal to three in here by accessing the variable through the method that I've created in order to get that variable from my class. So that's the end of this video and uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and also don't forget to press the like button of this video and also subscribe to the channel if you have not done it yet. And if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it. You can share that in the comment section of this video or in the Facebook, Google Plus or Twitter feed. And the next video is going to be the writing the first program in Java. And that's the video where we are going to actually code a program and execute it and get an output from that program. So thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.